Let's get into this show right now and talk about Chris Sims, who once again is bitter. Like Chris Sims is getting a lot of headlines for being bitter. Um, I think he's a good analyst, but every time I hear about him, it's like he's mad at something. Right now, he was mad at Tua's $10,000 donation to a super fan's family. Let me give you the story. So he drew the ire of Dolphins fans when he picked a bizarre time, a weird time hella crazy time to stand against some Twitter trolls. So we know who he is, analyst and former quarterback, host of Pro Football Talk Live with Mike Florio. Y'all know Mike Florio. On Thursday, the discussion turned to Tua, and they were talking about his GoFundMe page for a Miami superfan who died in a car accident, right? Heartwarming, real calls right here. Respect to Tua for giving $10,000 to the family of Eric Carmona who was a Dolphins fan, super duper Dolphins fans who supported the quarterback on social media. And we all know that could be an experience if you supporting Tua anywhere. I used to work on the shows and talk good about Tua and you had to duck from all the bullets that were coming your way. So we know that in this situation, we saw that Chris Sims took a little issue with that and took some shots at the guy as the guy had taken shots at Chris Sims before. So Chris Sims started off, you know, they always start off really nice, you know, with the butt claws coming, but, but he says, quote, a horrible thing, a horrible accident, right? And then he's gonna get his little jab in there. He obviously was a huge Tua fan, also a huge guy that trolled me a lot on Twitter, okay? And then Florio interjected with a like, kind of like laugh of good, like that's what he's supposed to do but they kept going. So Florio attempted to move the conversation along and just say, hey, that's just sports fans. They're passionate. Move on, big dog. It ain't that serious. And then Florio told Sims if he didn't have the platform or football career that he had, maybe Sims would be one of those vocal fans, one of those trolls that he's calling Eric Carmona, right? So then Sims didn't get the hint. You know, he just kept going through the stop signs. Uh, He wasn't buying it. So He said, this is a deep subject. Uh Uh-oh. Don't get deep on somebody else's death. That's just like, I don't know what book they wrote that in, but let's just put that in in a book right now. Let's not go deep. You go to someone's funeral, it ain't the time to talk about the times they were messing up or how they contribute to their own death, how they asked themselves to get into that casket. Nobody wants to hear that because we're all sinners. But Chris Sims seems not. He says, this is a deep subject and I think it's societal. And I won't go into it cause I'm only going to get myself in trouble. Once again, another stop sign. You told yourself now, I need to stop. But he kept going. He said, consider being trolled a good thing. Being trolled is better than being ignored in this space that we occupy. Florio's giving them another handout like, dog, it's not that deep, he says. Sports fans love their team. However, my man wasn't done. He said, we're also setting an example of like, hey, here's money to a guy who's very negative too. That's all I'm saying. Like he just can't let it go. It was tragic and I don't want to make it clear. I want to make it clear. Rest in peace to him and his family. Like clearly I do. I love passionate fans. I do. There's no doubt about it. All right. So I just want to make sure that's clear. Yeah. But he also said some other things that made it look a little unclear. So then the fans start getting at him like, yo, that's disgusting. You're out of line to put it mildly, etc." What's going on here in this situation? To me, this is simple. If you're Chris Sims, you're being hella insensitive to a man's death that is not connected to a man trolling, which is not connected to you getting trolled by that man. So why in this moment are you trying to bring it all back full circle? Like, I understand you're trying to keep it real in some weird fake way, but why this moment if you're Chris Sims? Why be so bitter? And why are you so affected by somebody trolling you like you got receipts on him to the point where you want to bring the receipts to his death, right? It's kind of weird right there. But what do you guys think? Maybe I'm being hypersensitive to his insensitivity. But me, if you troll me, fine. I know you, maybe. But when you're dead, guess what? I just will call that one even, right? I'm not about to come to you with the receipts talking about how you are. Let me know what you guys feel about this one in the comments.